lovely day here in the Florida Keys. I'm at the Isla Mirada Dive Center in Isla Mirada, Florida. It's one of my favorite shops on the island. Set right at the Postcard Inn, which again, one of those amazing resorts that you really just have to experience if you haven't been down here before. Great tiki bar, great restaurants, and an amazing waterfront view that you just can't beat. We're gonna be doing a little reef diving. It's a little bit breezy this morning, but we're gonna head out and make the best of it. I'm diving with my very good friend Peter today. He came all the way down from Fort Lauderdale. He runs a YouTube channel called Fort Lauder Dive. We brought our cameras because, well, we like to take pictures of fish, actually video of fish. We're gonna be looking for hogfish. We're gonna be looking for turtles. We're gonna be having a good time. Nice, easy morning. Oh, hey, Peter. Oh, hey, Charlie. What's How you doing, man? All right. Good morning. Good morning. How you feeling today? A little hungover, but a little hungover. I'll be fine. Happens to the best of us. We're here at Isla Mirada Dive Center in Isla Mirada, Florida, and we're getting ready to go do one of our favorite things, diving. Are you going diving today? Definitely going diving. We're going to be doing some reef dives today. It's going to be really exciting. We're going to go out and get set up on the boat here, but I want you to see this shop first because this place is full of toys. So what do you think? Great stuff, right? Quality equipment, first rate staff, pretty much everything you can ask for. They do all kinds of instruction here. If you're looking to get certified, if you're looking to advance your certification, or if you want to go spear fishing or do something truly adventurous here in the Keys, they get it done for you. Definitely check it out when you get the chance. You're next to me. It's a tight fit, but you know, yeah, make the best of it. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. These DIN guys, it's the only way to be. So tell me about this rig. What are you working with today? Apex, pretty much across the board. Apex uh, XCX 200, uh, the uh, tungsten variety. Apex wing, 30 pounds. It's a good looking back plate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one's aluminum. Yeah. I got steel also. They've already been on both. This guy's gonna be able to see a lot of hogfish with that back. Typing my uh, my trusty Aqualung Outlaw. I've had this BCD for about five years now. I did my instructor program with this BCD back in 2017, and I absolutely love it. It's super minimal. It's super lightweight. It's very balanced in the water. And I don't like a lot of clutter when I'm diving, so I try and keep everything as minimal as I can. If you haven't dove one of these before, you definitely gotta check that out. Super lightweight. And the really cool thing is that all these straps, they actually come apart, so when you're traveling, you can take these down, and this thing actually presses flat, so it's really easy in a suitcase or something like that. Huge fan of this thing. Can't say enough good things about it. It's a little tight. I'd say you're a little generous with your numbers. You don't quite me. shoot something. He's been, it. he's been dreaming about it. <laughs> he swam all the way out here to the shoot something. The worst grunts, right? Open season, man. Open season on grunts all day, every day. Right from 80, uh, about 55 feet under the boat. Uh, so from between here and the anchor, you're going to go from 55 to out feet on the ledge out there. Lots of really cool little structure here. You ready to go diving? Hell yes. He's sure as shit not ready to go running.
stuff down there. Pretty vibrant coral reef, yeah? Yeah, very alive, lots of fish, uh, sea anemone, uh, a couple nurse sharks, really, really nice. It's a gorgeous day down here in Florida. First dive is done. We're getting ready to move over to the next site now. A little bit of a battle to get the anchor up, but fortunately, I'm not on anchor duty today, so I get to enjoy the ride. All right, Peter, we're at a spot called Hammerhead. I love Hammerhead. And what are the odds of seeing a Hammerhead? I'd say pretty I'd low. Say pretty but you never know. They don't call it Hammerhead for nothing. <laughs> you ready to jump in and have a good time? Yes, very much. Can Let's you go follow me? Sometime, yeah? Absolutely. Alright, cool. See y'all later.